reaction to a concerning announcement that we're getting from Iran. Officials there have confirmed that they are set to breach the uranium limits set out in the nuclear deal. Other countries that signed on to that deal, such as France and the UK, are speaking out against the move. Reporter Rebecca Collar joins us now for more. She is covering the story from Beirut. So, Rebecca, this move is essentially aimed at putting pressure on the other signatories of that nuclear deal. So what exactly is Iran looking to get here? Right, Michael. As you said, I think this move today, uh, this announcement is really aimed at putting pressure on uh, the other signatories to deal, not to moving toward uh, towards some sort of nuclear warhead. Um, this is really the, the figure that we've heard uh, coming out of the Iranian government is a 5% enrichment. So that, of course, does surpass the 3.67% set out uh, in the 2015 agreement, but it's nowhere near the 90% that would be needed to make some sort of a nuclear weapon. So really, this move is about putting pressure um, on these other signatories, and that, of course, is China, Russia. But I think more importantly um, for uh, for Iran, it is uh, uh, Britain, Germany, and France. And so this also comes after uh, last week, um, the Iranian government increased the stock of low enriched uranium. So uh, they surpassed that. And they're also saying that within 60 days, if something isn't done, uh, they will they will uh, take new measures to violate the agreement even further. So, the reason that they're the reason that they're doing this is, of course, Michael, is that uh, last year the U.S. pulled out of the uh, agreement, out of the 2015 agreement, started re-implementing sanctions on Iran, uh, then tightening those sanctions significantly in the last few months. And essentially, what Iran has said is, for Iran to stay in the agreement, they need these European powers to make up. Uh, the economic loss that Iran is suffering because of the U.S. sanctions, and that if the European powers can't do that, they're not able to abide by the agreement, Michael. Not uh, being able to abide by the agreement. Certainly that has other members of this 2015 deal concerned. So what are we hearing from the other signatories here, Rebecca? Right. We heard condemnation this morning uh, from uh, French President Emmanuel Macron, and then just in the last couple of hours here, uh, statements both from Germany and France saying, um, like urging urging Iran not to do this, urging Iran to reverse uh, these violations of um, of the 2015 agreement. But I think that really, um, Michael, you know, these European powers are in a very difficult position. On one side, they are having they're, they're having a lot of pressure from the U.S. to to back out of this deal now that Iran is uh, violating uh, these terms of the agreement. But I think in the end, they really do want this agreement to survive. I think Iran wants this agreement to survive. I think the European powers want this agreement to survive. But it is very difficult for the European powers to do what Iran wants. And that's because this is really about, about businesses. So uh, European businesses have to make a decision, essentially. Do they want to deal with the U.S. or do they want to deal with Iran? And if they do any business with Iran, essentially they risk not being able to do business with the U.S. And no matter what the European governments might try to uh, try to do to avoid um, avoid any avoid any negative effects for for businesses that do uh, business with Iran, I think it's not it's it's too difficult. And and in the end, I think that uh, essentially these European powers aren't going to be able to meet uh, uh, the demands of Iran.